The next area is what might be of great interest to you is people who are involved in an active person in the military. Doesn't make any difference what branch. Maybe not Space Force, but everything else. Um, so, under today's law, if a person of the military is contractually agreed with you for a month, a, a year's rent, right? You're leasing the agreement, and they can no longer perform, they need to move out, they have been called and restationed. They can um, break the lease agreement. Long standing law. And that only required a very short term notice. If conversely, and that doesn't change, but conversely, what has changed is a notice on, from your end noticing the tenant or, or household in your units where that a person or who is one of your tenants on the lease or rental agreement now uh, you, you want to change the terms you want to terminate now it goes from 30 to 90 days you have to give them enough to accommodate them so they can stay in there if you're going to serve an unlawful attainment for non-payment of rent, that term changes. If you're going to serve a curable, a curable notice, the waiting period is going to change. We describe all of this in the paper for everybody who has a person who is in active military duty. Can you, can you require them to produce evidence that they are actually serving today uh, in the military? The answer is absolutely yes. Uh, in order, if they want to have this special protection under state law, and under what's referred to as the Soldiers and Sailors Act, then um, you can do it, you can follow through, you can be, be part of that. You're, you're, act, you're absolutely keenly aware of who's serving. You know, I'm not sure that I know a manager or a, an owner that would be just so so dispassionate that they wouldn't provide an accommodation. Well, now the state law articulates, changes the law in terms of your response time and their response time to you. If they want to terminate agreements or you want to change terms or follow through with an eviction. The eviction is probably the most common that you're going to have um, in the community in a communication with a person in active military duty. And that you should know. Um, I'm not sure that many of you are, if anyone employs 10 or more people, a new law really changes in Prop 65. You're pretty well aware of that. Um, we provided Mac and Ruth uh, a legal Q&A Walking, it's the only one I know of in the state. It is designed and written specifically for residential rental owners and managers having 10 or more employees. Doesn't make any difference where those employees are. They don't have to be in one site, they can be at multiple properties, etc. But if, if you happen to qualify for that, see Ruth or Matt. To get a copy of, of that Q and A because it it is very very comprehensive in its approach. Two things that uh, oh, it's a reminder notice, and I want to mention this to you: um, all multifamily properties, with very few exceptions, have to retrofit by the next year um, for their kitchen faucets. Their bathroom faucets, shower heads, and toilets to be um, compliant. We can go, toilets have to be 1.2 gallon, the shower heads are 2.6 gallons, the faucets are 2.2 gallons a minute. That's all anybody 
at Home Depot, Lowe's, any plumbing store can sell, but to anybody in California, be aware though that the law has slowly forced a number of property owners to retrofit their properties. There's only one qualification, and it's a qualified, recognized, historic building. Then the plumbing fixtures can stay. But that really doesn't hit many people in, in California. You just want to be aware that the, the plumbing fixtures must be installed by the first of next year. And you know the law. Last year we talked about tenants' complaints about water dripping, water uh, faucets that don't shut off, toilets that don't operate properly. That whole law has changed. Uh, we outlined that at great length to you a year ago in this in this auditorium. Um, and if you need to, we have papers that outline exactly what you need to do and how you do it. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, 